Hello everybody. Today we're doing a tree farm tutorial. This tree farm currently produces 16.5 to 19,000 or 18,000 spruce logs per hour. It runs on a 20 game tick cycle and um, credits go to Teratar for helping me with this system right here. He designed it and I just pretty much put it on. And uh, JX67 for the wither cage. And Navy Nexus for the shulker loader. Okay. Here's a quick demonstration of how fast it can run. It's very fast, as you can see. Um, not the fastest. You'll have to look at Linlin's or Origin 0110s for that. But uh, in this case, it is a compact and useful spruce farm. Okay, now to get into building it. First, we will need dispensers, sticky pistons, and droppers. I'll be putting a um, materials list in the description. So, first you get that piece of dirt, put a sticky piston under it like that, and you get your droppers, and you put two all around it like that. You see? Two droppers on all these parts. Then you're going to get dispensers, put one there, one there, and one there. Okay, next, you're going to get a dropper, face it right here. This is going to be what's giving you the um, saplings, so you can AFK for longer. Okay, so now you need a comparator and some redstone and any sort of glazed terracotta. In this case, I'm going to use light gray, gray um, glazed terracotta. So first, you're going to put that down. Come like this. Okay. So then, I will have that like that. Let me go make sure I've done it right. Okay, so I need to get down one more. Like that, it seems like. If I remember correctly, over here. Yep, okay. So then, what you'll want to do is you will take this and put one of those on top, you'll get some repeaters, and you will make this three blocks wide, get three repeaters, one on one tick, one on two ticks, and one on four ticks of delay. Then you get your redstone line, put that in front of it. Okay, next thing you want to do, I'm going to clear my inventory for this, the uh, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start getting your sticky pistons for the pushing system. This is, all right, no, first get your hoppers and some more glazed terracotta. You're going to put hopper like that, hopper like that, and you're going to go all around this until right here. And then you're going to put glazed terracotta right there so that none of the hoppers that would be there would get picked up by some blocks that are going to be going there. Okay, now um, you're going to get this dirt, you're going to get some slime and honey, and you're going to get some sticky pistons. Or no, so you're going to get some slime, my bad. So next you're going to go like that. Wrong side. 
come on this side. Just need to stay for it. Okay. You're going to pile up your dirt like this up to nine high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So then you're going to get it to go like one, two, three. And both of these should be facing in like that. And for this demonstration, I will be using iron blocks, but you can use uh, pretty much any solid block. Okay, so you'll just make them go up in a two block pattern like this all the way to the top. So, yeah, like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come on the opposite side and make them go in opposing. Or in um, diagonal angles like this. Okay, so now you're going to get the honey and uh, you're going to place it in three block strips like this. And then you're going to get your slime and do the same thing on this side. This is so that none of the dirt comes off when these double fist and extenders get pushed. Um, okay, so I'm going to put these solid blocks down. Okay, great. So that should be the first part of the double piston extender system, the actual physical parts that make it work, done. So now we're going to put down the redstone wiring for it. So I'm going to go like that. And you're going to place one on all of these. So both these inside ones should fire first. Then we'll have a system that makes these outside ones fire to make a fast double piston extender. So now it's going to go like that. 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 Just a simple glass um, redstone line. That goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so after that, you're going to, let me go make sure how I did it over here. Okay, so you're going to connect it up to the side. So in this case, I'll connect it up over here. There. Okay. So then I'm going to put... These here, this is important. You can only use glazed terracotta for this part or obsidian or bedrock. But I would uh, suggest obsidian or glazed terracotta because bedrock is very hard to remove if you make a mistake with it. Okay. But yeah, you can use any block that is not movable by, okay, uh, by slime and honey. So now you need to get some pistons some observers and some glass and you're going to put the observers and glass in a order, order like this in order to after this is pushed it will extend the second piston when it hits this block so you put one observer under the piston that's going to be activating and you do that for all of them until you get to the top. Once you get to the top, you get a redstone block, put it up here. You're going to put glass on top of that. And you have the, um, that. So when it gets pushed up, this will be activated to push it back, back down quickly. And uh, so you'll need a piston and some more glazed terracotta for that, but very simple and very easy and we will do the exact same for the other side except just at different elevations since uh, both sides are not exactly parallel so we go like that you see how they correspond and then no. so then you put so on this side you're going to put two glass because I just like it to where it's even with the top, so none of those look bad, but 
you could have it one lower if you wanted. So then you'll want to go like that. You also need a uh, block blocking this so that this observer tower right here does not activate the double piston extenders uh, a second time. So now you will get these uh, redstone uh, dust and you'll place it right there. And just like the other side, that was an accident. Okay, and just like the other side, you will place it just like that. Okay. Oop. Okay, so this system should all be in order. So just for a quick test, I'm gonna get nine stacks of bone meal. Put them right here. And now get a piece of wood. Oh, I guess what went wrong? Oh, the other side wasn't activated. <laughs> okay, yep, forgot to plug that in right there. Okay. Now, it should work. A second. What is the problem here? Oh, this one's still not activating. <laughs> oh, neither of them were activating. My bad. Okay. Okay. There we go. And there, you see? Simple as that. And that'll push it to where the retraction system can come get it. And I will be posting, hopefully, a better tree farm that includes oak mode very soon. Um, this one, I'm sorry if the first video misled anybody. My uh, testing uh, was inaccurate. I made a mistake. So, your AFK platform will be right down here. And you can just sit here, get some saplings, place them right there. Yeah. Once the clock is turned on, that should be real simple. But now it is time for the leaf crushers, which will go. This one is very simple. It's just a single piston. That should go. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to go right here because trees grow in a five by five area. So if anything is obstructing that, they will not grow. So make that nine high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. Nine. Okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get some more glazed terracotta and put this on the walls so that uh, none of the honey or slime can mess up the walls or the pistons. So all of this is going to go one above the piston line. So then what I do is I go like, wait, no, that's wrong. Never mind, that's correct. I go like that, and I bring the last one right down there. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to get your glass, and you're going to get it right there. Wait, never mind. Did do it wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Just very late for me here. Okay, just like that. So it does one, two, three, and then this one goes. Wait, not like. Yeah, and then this one will go one, two, three. Just continue on like that. Don't put that there. That glass there. Okay. This should work. Pretty sure that's how I did it over here. Nope, okay. Not one, two, three, it is like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now it'll go like that. Okay, simple. So that all of these will be powered when this turns on. So 
Let me give you an example of that. Let me get a spruce log real quick. Let me show you. You see, all those are turned on because these observers power the wall, which hits the, um, which lights off these redstone, which turns on the piston. Okay, so now we're going into the retraction system. I mean, yeah, the retraction system. Okay, so I'm gonna need a lot of this. This is the finniest, the finickiest part of the design. Uh, sometimes in high lag conditions it can break, but luckily it's easy to fix. So let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five. So yep, that's in the wrong spot. Needs to be one further back, right there. Okay, like that, and this type of pattern where that goes in a 4x4 area like that all the way up to the top which is different than the rest and I'll show you how to make that in just a second right after I get there so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then the top one has two fifths two pistons facing like that. So then for this side you will need one of the you'll need some glazed terracotta some pistons and observers like that. Okay. So make sure to make it one below, like that. Perfect. One below each. Just like that. Except that this top one, where you make it two, so it'll activate both of these. Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna bring it all the way up the side, but you can make it to where it's only where it's gonna activate these. That would be uh, yeah, I'm not going to calculate that. My brain's kind of fried right now. So then you will need that. Let me find where the roof of this part's going to be. So it's easy. So you get that. You get one of those. Let me get... Oh, not that. You'll need some redstone. Okay. So just like before... On the other ones, pretty simple. And then you wire up this side, which is also pretty simple. Oh, did not mean to break that. So then you go like that. Okay. Simple redstone dust glass line. Okay, so now you're gonna bring the redstone line from over here to the other side. You're gonna transport it all the way over to here. Easy. So then right here, you put one repeater on one tick of delay, just like that. And you go there, just like that. So now, if you did everything right, you should be able to get one log of spruce, which I suggest you do after you finish most of these major parts, just to make sure everything's working, so you don't have to fix the whole thing if it breaks the first time you test it. So you see, it grabs it and brings it back here. So the next part of the system will require some sticky pistons, some slime and honey. So I'll come here like that and I like to do it like oh, the wrong way. Let me make this first. Okay, so that is nine high. And then you just do corresponding honey and slime just like that. 
Okay. So now what you do with this is of the slime, which, uh, okay, in this case, all of the honey, it will be too wide. Okay, and let me get some terracotta for the floor. You don't have to have this, but it just looks good in my opinion. Right there. Okay, so now that goes like that. Easy. So this is only a single piston extender. It's just uh, this is needed for the circuit. Okay. So now you're going to come back like this on all of these and make just a small tower. Wait, not like that. My bad. Like this. Perfect. So you're going to get all of these just like that and make a small redstone glass line. Perfect. Okay. So now you're going to come down and connect it right here. You see, you just make a little extension to the elevator down here and like that and now break this last piece of redstone right there get a repeater and put it on two ticks of delay you see okay so now when we test it this part should work where that grabs it and do a second one just to be sure it goes through yep Perfect. If everything's working, that's what it should look like so far. Now we have the second leaf crusher, which is more complicated. So for this leaf for this leaf crusher, we're going to need so that's where that ends right there. Okay, so we're going to need the go make sure the exact placing of this. Yes, okay. So build the wall right here to there and come down with it just like that okay so now yeah I'm just making sure where I'm supposed to place it because I haven't built this in a very long time Okay, so it'll be right over here where it's going to be. So then you'll get your solid block of choice. And you will do honey blocks in this one. But if you alternate slime, honey, slime, honey on this one, uh, you would do honey blocks in this one. But this one needs slime, or this one needs honey because that has slime so these will not stick together very important oh no does not need to go that high yeah okay so now build the roof make sure this is one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine high okay so then come and get your sticky pistons and you're going to place them behind each of the spots where the honey is, just like that. Very simple. I like to put the honey down first, just so I know where everything goes before I do it, but you can put the pistons down first. Okay. So now that's done. Okay. We're almost done here. So perfect and perfect. Okay. Now we're going to get that all these places. And we're going to get some dirt and put it in all these spots right here. 
then I I do this as a kind of stylistic choice, but you don't have to. But you can put glazed terracotta in all these spots. Okay, so now on this side, um, for me, I put or what you need to do now is get your piston and your observers and your glass. Okay, so you're going to put one there. I'm going to go ahead and break all these for now, but you can place them later. Okay, so right there, right there, right there, right there, just like that, all the way up to the top. And now you get that. Perfect. Now this side you're going to get redstone line going like that. I get some redstone. Perfect. And you can lead this redstone line down here over to this part. Or you could easily go like that up. And also, before you get there, at some point, make sure to place a repeater. I like to do it around the curve on two ticks, like that. And even though that does not look like it will activate, you get a redstone block. And that redstone down there does activate, surprisingly. And let's push this back down real quick, because it's going to annoy me. <laughs> Okay, right there. Perfect. So now you're going to wear the rest of this, or wrap the rest of this into this right here. You see? Perfect. So now all of this should be connected up. Make sure. You see? All of that was pushed. And then, yeah. Now what you need is simple. You just need another piston. Oh, not yet, actually. We're going to get right there. Put a redstone block right there. You see? You're going to need two redstone dust. Get your glazed terracotta. Put the redstone... Or, uh, put the redstone dust in the order like that, just like we did before. And place your glazed terracotta around it. Just like that. And I know what you're thinking. This should be done. We still got one more part. But just to make sure this is mostly working. Here we go. And there. You see? It pushes this all the way back here. Um, I will do a separate tutorial on it, on this part of the, um, system, because this is very hard to do within itself, and it'll probably take another 10 to 15 minutes to explain. And, uh, this you can probably figure out yourself, it's just a simple water stream that feeds into a shulker loader. Okay, so now... Uh, since you have everything else done, it's time to do the bone meal system, the thing that keeps the farm running. And uh, if you can, you can try to find a way to fit this with more storage capacity. But for me, I found it easiest just to have a double chest, have some double chests down here. Let me get some blocks to stand on. Okay, now I'm going to need to go like that, 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 okay, perfect, and I'm going to come out real quick, like that, come here, I'm trying to find a good place to stand for placing 
Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to place a repeater here, repeater here, and a repeater there. Perfect. And then you're going to come out, at least what I do, I do two barrels because you don't have to have glass on top to open them. You can just have some barrels. And they all lead into those um, hoppers. And then on this side, you do the same thing. Or you can have the chest over here. It doesn't matter. You can have a chest on any of them, but... Um, oh, accidentally fell. That's not good. Okay. So now you will set up the clock part of the system, the thing that powers everything and causes this to be able to grow the trees. And I'm going to go ahead and put all the bone meal in first, actually, just to get everything ready. I love designing them and making them now. Wait. What did I do? Here. Oh, I didn't make the, made this too short. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so... I have enough filled up for this demonstration and now time for the clock. So you're going to get that. You're going to get a comparator, some redstone, and a leather. So I'm going to try to find a way to snake this around to over here, which can be some sort of entrance or something. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to make it a little further out so it doesn't accidentally lock any of the hoppers. Yeah, just bring it down like that. And like that. And, yeah. Can you bring this down? And you put that right there. Comparator. Simple. Just like that. And then you track that up to here. Simple. Turn it on. See it's shooting the bone meal up here. And now you can get some saplings and place them. And they get pushed. And they in my next tutorial I'll show you how to make the wither cage that uh, they get pushed into where you can where they get items. Uh, here's the return on saplings. Oh, I have them. You see, it has a very good return on saplings. And if you go walk around, you'll get even more. So yeah, that's my tree farm. Uh, please leave a like and comment down below if you even want the weather cage, but. I'll probably release a tutorial anyway, but thanks for watching.